Hey guys, Noah here from Harmony Mushroom Co. I just want to make a quick video to help people who wanted to start a mushroom farm in 2023 with some advice that helped me along the way. So let's just get right into it with number one. The first piece of advice, look at what your competitors are doing wrong and then do that better than them. It sounds really simple, but let's break it down a little bit. So for example, whenever I was starting, I noticed that a lot of farmers in my state didn't really like to do a lot of marketing or branding. So I took advantage of that and then I've really emphasized kind of the brand aspect of it and having like, you know, as if I was selling brand name mushrooms, like they're uh, Versace mushrooms, essentially. And that's given us a lot more uh, ability to have control of the price because we're selling a more premium product. Also, it helps people remember the name. There's, you know, we could go down the whole marketing thing that, you know, it's a business. So you got to have some good marketing. It's worth it. People are going to remember your name and want to support you. Additionally, on the topic of marketing, I noticed that no one else who was doing a mushroom farm in my area had a website. So I took advantage of that as well to do online sales and online marketing and just kind of have an online section where there's, you know, the about us. Just a landing page where people can find us on the internet that's not like a Facebook page, like an actual .com. So it's a pretty easy step when you think about it, but it hasn't really transferred over into this like this type of industry. A lot of people are just into it for the mushroom growing and there's a saying on this channel when we're talking about getting into growing mushrooms you gotta love business first and then growing mushrooms after that's the best piece of advice so the next one this is a piece of advice that is a segue from the last one that you can't skip online sales in 2023 that's a piece of advice that a mentor gave me about my business that's been super helpful so you can find pretty much anything to sell online on your website uh, fresh mushrooms are hard because you can't ship them, but if you have the ability, you can offer a local pickup. So here's how we've done that. People can go on our website and select mushrooms for local pickup, and then there's a fridge they can walk right up and then pick them up. Or if that doesn't work for you, here's a creative solution. You can work with another location to have like a drop off. So you can have people still order on your website and then they'll be able to pick it up Fridays at this store or at this, you know, partner of yours. So that's another option pretty easy thing you can also just ship things like extracts dried mushrooms t-shirts books like there's there's a lot of options you can do for online sales to help build that presence and that allows you to think do things like run facebook ads for your products and get some traffic from other sources so don't skip online sales in 2023 so another quick tip that i would give to anyone who wants to start a mushroom farm is to specialize uh as we're a general mushroom farm meaning we grow oyster mushrooms lion's mane and a whole bunch of other stuff that being said, you could probably grow one mushroom better than we could grow nine different kinds of mushrooms throughout the year. In fact, I'm pretty sure if we just grew lion's mane, we'd probably, I'm probably predicting the future here. If we just grew lion's mane, we'd probably be able to grow a lot more mushrooms because it would be one consistent product and we'd be really good at doing it. So that's a really good thing. If you're just growing mayatake or if you're just growing cordyceps, that's like a really easy way to, to solidify yourself in the industry. So another quick piece of advice would be to sell your story. Whenever you are a small business, people are shopping with you because they like to support a small business and they want to buy your story more than anything. So I always tell people about how we got started and, and you know, it's, it's a smaller farm. So people like to support that, but they also like to hear the journey and the whole thing where you got started, how you got into it, the people that you've met along the way. So that allows you to sell your product with conviction where you really believe in your product and it's something that you've invested all your time into and that really will sell more than any like marketing campaign will be able to do. So just a couple of quick pieces of advice. I hope these are super helpful to anyone who wants to get started and I always encourage people to, to definitely try it. It's like it's just any other business. It might not be right for you, but also you might be able to approach it with a new perspective compared to someone who's been doing it, especially if you're an outsider and you're not like a mushroom person. So anyway, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment because I like discussing with you guys what you think about the videos. So thanks and see you next time.